How to fix a frozen shoulder faster and effective? Hi, I am Coach Jay with Babe Fitness and Body Works, and this is your Therapy Tuesday. This is a question from one of our followers, so I am super excited to share with you these tips. Frozen shoulder or adhesive capsulitis happens when you guard the pain from your shoulder injury. You limit the movement, so you guard the pain, so the muscle on the rotator cuff loses its range of motion. Lots of people jump into strengthening exercise right away because they lose their muscle strength. To make the strengthening exercise more effective, you have to work backward, meaning you have to work on the rotator cuff range of motion first to make it more effective. I will show you five effective ways to work on your range of motion and progress gradually. First, if you have a ball, it's super easy to use it on the wall and slowly move the shoulders and then gradually make the move bigger. And so do it five to eight times and then reverse. And then do it two to three times and then you can stretch it back and stretch it forward. And then set it up. Now slowly, again, gradually release everything. And then repeat all these moves two to three times. Another option is if you do not have a stability ball, you can simply use a paper plate. So put it against the wall and same thing. Slowly, gradually form a circle and then gradually extend, make it the circle big. Good. Next one is you can push it forward and stretch the tricep and rotator and then stretch the bicep and the chest or the pecs and that overhead as well. So here, you can see that you have to gradually stretch it and loosen those muscles up. So do this three, five times. Next one is we're going to use a resistance cable or you can simply use a towel. So raise it up, arms up, and then slowly stretch it side to side. Good. Now make sure you're, you are focusing on your upper body and your shoulders and you're not loading your lower back. Good. And then gradually increase intensity here up. And then stretch all the way. Perfect. Nice one. So remember, we are working on your range of motion. So do not over stretch it slowly. Next one is we're going to do a rocking down dog. So on your knees, hands under your shoulders, you're going to rock down, feel the stretch, then up. And down. Make sure you look six feet away from you. Engage your core and again, focus on your upper back. Good. Now your progression on your toes. Squeeze your heels down. Drop your head. Straight. And down. Next one is make sure you find a strong anchor for your towel or your resistance band. Hold it and walk forward. Put your arms up and just move your chest forward. Again, slowly and back, good. Make sure you're not loading your lower back. Just feel those rotator cuff. Good, next one. If you have a TRX, you can also use it. Forward, and then slowly focus on the upper back. Those shoulders muscle. Nice one. Last one is re using a resistant band or your Cross your legs inside leg, and then just really release it. Good. Hold it, nice and easy. Beautiful, you got it. And then gradually just add. Good. If you find this helpful, don't be a silent follower. Like and share it to your friends and family. Also, if you have more questions, comment below or message us. Also, sign up on our email newsletter to receive healthy tips and recipes. Until next time, see ya!